Hi guys, so today I am going to go get my very first Diva cut. I wanted to just kind of show you what we've got beforehand. So this is the before, this is my wash day results today. Got a lot of work to do, got a long ways to go, but it's going to happen today and it's going to be really exciting. Diva cut. Let's go. <laughs> I can't wink. Here's my <laughs> I know I don't have really good lighting in here, but I wanted to show you guys real quick what it looks like on the very day that I get my Diva cut afterwards. It was an amazing experience and I highly recommend it. The color is really rich. Um, I'll be taking some more pictures and possibly videos tomorrow to kind of show it, but before I sleep on it, since I still don't have a silk pillowcase, I wanted to show you what it looks like today. The cut is very layered. Um, I've got a lot of face framing. That's my cat. Hey guys, I'm back. So now I have some better light today. I did a quick refresh on my hair while I just sprayed some water with conditioner in it and scrunched it a little bit. And this is what it looks like today. I am so happy with the results. Like. I was a little bit worried last night, like I knew I loved it, but um, I was having that shock of looking like a brunette instead of a blonde anymore. But today I'm really like embracing it, I really feel like it's more like me. So I just wanted to kind of talk a little bit about the actual cut. I was not a believer in the Diva cut, but let me tell you, it was the best thing I have done to my hair so far. I am so excited, I have never felt as beautiful with my natural curly texture as I did after getting that diva cut. Um, I went to a woman named Tiffany. She owns Tiffany's Parlor in Colorado. So if any of you guys are looking for a good diva cut stylist in Colorado, I will link her information down below. My diva cut included a lesson. So make sure whenever you are searching and researching for your stylist that you mention does this include a lesson or not? Does this price include a short tutorial on how to style, how to wash and condition and what products to use when I'm styling, root clipping, all of that fun stuff. I was definitely not sure if the Diva Cut was worth the price point, but I think that it's important to keep in mind that this is specifically for your textured hair, which you may have never had before. If you're anything like me, you've never had a diva cut, you've never had any dry cut, you've never even had anyone who knows how to style your curly hair besides putting mousse in and scrunching it. So I think all of that, the knowledge, the cut, the lesson, um, all of that kind of goes into the diva cut price, that high price point. Um, which I think is worth it. I think that one of the most important things with getting a diva cut is having your hair prepped beforehand. Now my stylist actually told me to come in with products in my hair like I would normally style it every day. Um, and I know that a lot of stylists I have seen in the past on YouTube videos or I even um, talked to when I was searching for a stylist told me to come in with um, no product in my hair and possibly even detangled hair. And I personally think either option is fine. I like the way my stylist had me do it because she really was able to get a great shape on the first cut. Um, she did cut my hair twice, 
So she cut it once when I came in, um, and then we colored, we styled, and she cut it a second time. So she was really able to do most of the shaping on the first um, cut, just because I had already had my hair pretty much how I normally wear it. If you go in with no product on your hair at first, then they're just going to have to do more shaping after they already style it. If you go in with product already, they can do most of the shaping in the beginning. It really doesn't matter. You're going to get a nice shape better than you've ever had for curly hair before. <laughs> I definitely gained a friend from the Diva Cut experience. She was a nerd just like me. We talked about comic books. We talked about Stan Lee. We talked about the new Avengers. We talked about our kids and being a mama and trying to do curly hair on mama's time and budget. So I think that if you really can find a stylist that you connect with, it's going to give you so much empowerment. I feel better than I ever have felt about wearing my natural hair texture and in my experience it was definitely worth it to just take the plunge and I know that I wanted to have some background knowledge before I went so I will gladly help out any of you guys that are looking to get a diva cut as well I'm gonna be putting out some more videos just like this about all the things that I'm learning in the curly girl method so if you are interested in it please subscribe and I will see you guys later bye